if you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. What's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, how y'all doing this morning? Y'all good? Hmm? Good guys morning to each and every one of y'all. Y'all, it's Friday. It's another day the Lord has made and we will, we shall. Beloved, we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Aren't y'all glad it's Friday? Uh, if you're glad it's Friday and you know it, give me some hearts. <laughs> all right good god's morning to you again all is hope all is well pray all is well i know all is well for the lord is on the throne and he is in control amen so all will be well let us get our scripture for this friday morning good morning everybody good god's morning to you i see you remember this friday morning remember this um sunday morning is our um uh, um, educational Sunday. So if you're a child, if you want to be your child to be recognized, listen, please get your children on the list so that we can recognize them for um, just being a student and during the year. Okay. You don't have to do anything spectacular. You know, I mean, we just want to celebrate our kids, period. Okay. All right. Our scripture this morning, beloved, is coming from Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. And it reads like this, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and put them into practice is like a wise man who has built his house on on the rock. Listen. I know life can sometimes throw you some curveballs, can throw you some, you know, some things that you never thought you had to deal with, you know, some things that you just like, oh my God, like why? But in all of that, God gives us a roadmap, a plan, a if this, that. It's all in his word. You just have to take the time to actually read it. And he says here that if you hear my words, there, there are so many things that are practices in the word of God that if we live by guess what it will be our lives will be so much better I believe for example we love one another okay if we loved one another like how the Bible tells us to love each other we wouldn't be arguing, bickering, we wouldn't be fighting, we wouldn't be killing each other, we wouldn't be, you know, having envy and strife. We wouldn't there's a lot of things that we wouldn't do if we actually loved one another as Christ has loved us. And so he tells us to put those things into practice because it's one thing to hear it, and it's a whole nother thing to actually do it. We hear it all day long. We got that. We hear it all day, every day. We we got that. We got that down pat. We we hear it. We hear it. I hear you. I hear you. I hear it. But there, it, it takes the courage, and I'm I'm just gonna say it this way, because I understand it. I because I hear God, and God tells me things. But one has to have the courage. 
one has to have the belief, not necessarily in God, but in themselves, that they can and they are and they are worth what God is telling them and allowing them to have and do. And you can say what you want, but it's a true fact. Okay? One must have those things in order to actually start to do something. Have that zeal, that fire, that 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 go get it. You must have these things on the inside of you in order for you to actually go and do. You hear it all day long, but if you don't believe it, if there's not something on the inside of you that says, you know, go go for it, go for it, that courage, guess what? You're not gonna do it. Period. No matter how much God done prophesied to you and told you, you can heal a millionaire and you do this and you do this. And we just we just wait for God to drop it out the sky. And God says, no, you got to go do something. Even if I, if even if you won the lottery, some of y'all saints, y'all too, y'all too religious, y'all don't believe in the lottery. But even if you won the lottery, you still got to go to the store and buy the ticket in order to be even in, in the vicinity, in the pool to possibly get your numbers pulled. You've got to do something. Something. God wants us to not just hear his word, but actually do something. And when we hear his word and we actually do what it says, then our foundation and our house will be built, is built upon the rock. The rock. I'm not talking about your your foundation the you know the foundation the concrete and stuff i'm not talking about that i'm talking about the rock that rock is jesus christ and you build that upon that rock guess what ain't nothing nobody say do can come do nothing it's going to just tear that down it's on a foundation the principles of god they are they are proven they 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 are they are 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 are, are in stone and so if I follow the principles, follow the word of God, I'm not just hear it, but I do it, follow it, then I'm building upon a foundation that cannot be destroyed. What are you building on? Hmm? What are you building on? God is going to give you some courage. God is going to give you some strength. God is going to set you into place and, and someone said to me that this like the, the, this on 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 you guys coming on here for that, that person and it might be for you for you all as well it's like that 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 uh that uh antidote because it's like it's like cancer they said it was like like oh, listen they said that certain things that happen in life can be cancerous for instance our thoughts for instance certain things we we do it can be cancerous Huh? And and if we we continue to listen to ourselves and not listen to God, we we will we will distract ourselves. We will turn ourselves away from the promise of God. We will we will say no. You don't deserve that. No, you can't have that. We've got to stop doing that. God says you are my workmanship. That you are my disciples, you are my chosen generation, you are a royal priesthood. He's already put it into place, but you've got to believe it. And the person told me that, you know, just, um, and I might be saying a little bit wrong, but the person told me that, you know, every day is like we're we're hearing the word of God and we're getting the chemo <laughs> to, to, because the word of God is like fire, you know, you're getting that chemo to burn out the cancerous things that that have been said over your life over time that have deterred you and stopped you and blocked you and just you know discouraged you and i pray today that you get your dose of chemo that it burns out all the negative stuff that you've ever dealt with that you finally for once in your life hear the word of god and that you put it into practice and you begin to build your house on the rock you can do it beloved i believe in you let's pray father we thank you god for your word this morning we thank you for this opportunity just to come to you and pray god we thank you oh god for giving us the strength this morning 
to put your words into practice. Not just hear it, but put it into practice. God, let a, let a, let light a fire up under us. Get our hands to moving, our minds to thinking, our mouth to speaking your word, our, our legs to walking in your will, God, so that we can do what it is you have for us to do. Lord, we rebuke procrastination, we rebuke depression, we rebuke, oh God, suicide, we rebuke anything and everything that is stopping us and blocking us and trying to, to prevent us from reaching your goal, our goals and your will. We thank you, Lord, and we give you praise, glory, and honor. We ask these blessings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. The people of God said, amen, 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 amen. It is done. Listen, y'all have a blessed and beautiful day, okay? Go get it. Put it into practice and watch and see what happens. All right? I'll see y'all tomorrow. Same time, same place for another good guy's morning moment, okay? Good guy's morning to you. Y'all have a blessed day. Go get it. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace. God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning.